Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to calculate some binomial probabilities using Minitab Express. And we'll be looking at two different uh, types of probabilities. The probability of a single value, such as the probability that x equals 4 when n equals 10, and the probability of single success equals 0.7. And this is actually in Table 1 in the back of the book, so we can check it. It's 0.037. And then we want to look at a cumulative probability, such as the probability that x is less than or equal to 4, n is 10, and p equals 0 0.7. And again, this is in the book, but we have to add up the probability that x equals 0, which is a star, which is sort of vague. It just means that it's very small. The probability that x equals 1, the probability that x equals 2, the probability that x equals 3, and the probability that x equals 4. We add them all up, we get 0.047. So we're going to see how to do both of these tasks in Minitab Express, and you'll see it's really quite easy. So let's do the first one, the probability of a single value, right, x equals 4. So we come over here. Um, if you start off on the Home tab, you're going to want to go over to the Statistics tab. Go over to Probability Distributions. We're looking at CDF, PDF. One is for cumulative, the other is for a specific probability. Um, so for our first case, where we want the probability of a single outcome in a discrete distribution, we come down to PDF, click it, and we're going to use a single value, that single value being 4. You can also do a, um, an entire column of values and actually build an entire table, much like the ones in the book. But in this case, we're just going to do it for a single value, 4. And the default distribution is normal, so you have to make sure you change this to binomial. And then you suddenly get the option to put in the number of trials, which in this case is 10, and the probability of a success, which is 0.7. You're good to go. You press OK. And the answer is down here. The probability that x equals 4 is 0 0.036757. If you round that to three decimals, you get the same answer that's in the back of the book. So it works great. Now let's do a cumulative probability. The probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So we come back here, we're still under statistics, we go to probability distributions again, only this time we're talking about a cumulative probability, so we click on cumulative. Again, we're using a single value, that will be 4. Again, we have to change normal to binomial. There are 10 trials, probability of success is 0.7, and you add them up with the click of the button, and your answer is 0 0.047349, and if you round that to two or to three decimals, sorry, you get the same answer you would have gotten if you added them up uh, by hand. So, in these problems, you could use either the book or the software, but the software is obviously much more flexible, much more powerful. You, you know, the, the list of tables. There's not all values of n. There's not all values of p. So the software is actually uh, much more um, flexible and efficient, and for Minitab Express, it's really quite easy. So that wraps it up. Bye.